Hello, hi everybody. I'm Ukulele and Jay, and today we're going to talk about the 1932 Martin 2M. Uh, I picked one up uh, last year, and I have not done a review on one yet, so this is my video review, more of a kind of overview and short talk about the history of this ukulele. Uh, it has some really great history that uh, we were able to validate based on a few things, and we'll start out with the, uh, the case, which we believe is original case. Uh, the mechanism does lock, and uh, all the parts are functional. Kind of a bummer that the strap wasn't on here, but that's okay. And inside we have the case, which was in very good condition. And one of the things that we noticed inside the case was this envelope. And this is actually one of those things you hear about in the uh, antique road shows or American Pickers, is they find something that documents the item which really sets its uh, cements itself in, in history and in this envelope uh, it was turned in by the the sons of the the woman who passed away and they found her ukulele under the bed and they turned it into this music store who purchased it from them and he kept it in the back wrapped up in this plastic bag and it wasn't out for sale uh, one of my really good friends who jams with me as well um, told me about the ukulele ryan mft thank you very much another ukulele underground member and told me that I should get down to the, the shop and check it out because he knew I was looking for my one and only soprano. It's the only soprano I have in my collection. The only one I'll get because I'm really not a soprano player, but I wanted to get a soprano. And of course, everybody says if there's one to get, you should uh, try to get a vintage Martin. And uh, that's what I was seeking for and found. In this envelope was this receipt. And the thing that's really cool about this is it's dated and it has the lady's name on this receipt. It says that it was for the Martin ukulele with the case, and it's dated June 5th, 1936, which is four years after uh, this ukulele, we believe, was manufactured, which would have been 1932, and we'll talk about how we know about that in a second. So here's a receipt where this ukulele was sold June 5th, 1936, and the amazing thing is that it was sold for $17. A lot of money back, obviously, in, in the 1930s, but... $17 to us seems like pennies today, but that's what it cost. And that was uh, the ukulele and the case for $17. So I don't know what uh, which one was uh, more obvious. The ukulele probably cost maybe, you know, 12 bucks or $13 in the case, 3 or $4. But nonetheless, we've got proof here in, in history uh, from the letter that was delivered by the the uh, the kids of the, of the lady. So that's going to go with the, with the case. And without further ado, I will show you the... 1932 style 2M. This is uh, all quarter sawn mahogany, which was also really amazing. Uh, we're talking about the neck, the top, the back, and the sides. And I'm not sure how well the video is going to show up, but you can see the medullary rays uh, on the, in this mahogany. It's got just thousands of them all over. Um, beautiful piece of mahogany, perfectly straight grained. I don't know how close I can get to focus on this, but you can see there, if I hold it, it'll focus, hopefully. And the back, so let's see if we get it here. And there's no dents on this, no scratches, uh, really nice neck. And there's the heel. And I do have the original tuners. I took them off and put pings on. Uh, the original tuners were a little squeaky, a little rough to tune. Uh, they're friction tuners, and uh, we decided to put some pings on here just to uh, make it easier to tune and to, and to keep in tune uh, without having to do a lot of back and forth work. The pings are great because they, they, they set right in there. I mean, look at their flush just about uh, with the headstock. We didn't need to make any modifications. We didn't have to touch the wood, nothing. Just basically took the other ones out, put these in. They fit perfectly, and that's why I have them on here. Got the uh, really nice uh, saddle there, all original. And you might be looking at this wondering what, what kind of string is this? And this will be discussed on another video that you'll be able to find on the uh, Jay Ukulele channel on YouTube. This is the new Fremont Logi polished squeakless string. And uh, all I will tell you is Wow, I've been through a lot of strings, tons of strings. You'll see my posts on the underground. Uh, I buy 
all that I can. Uh, there's only one manufacturer I haven't gone through yet, uh, which I'm going to order and, and try those strings out. But uh, for low G, uh, this is absolutely an amazing string. Uh, you'll see that on the, the uh, playing sample immediately after this review. But uh, without further ado, we're going to talk about the age of this ukulele. The Martin uh, company did not put serial numbers on their ukuleles, as, as most of you know. And for those of you that don't, you'll wonder when you look inside why you can't find anything that shows a year or a serial number on the ukuleles. However, Martin did a couple things that lets you date the ukulele. For those of you that have or have seen the stamp on the back and nothing on the front of the ukulele, you have a 1931 or older ukulele. For those of you that have a sticker on the front, you would have a 1933, uh, uh, 1933 or newer ukulele, headstock on the back, 1931 or older. If you have both an imprint on the back of the headstock and a sticker on the front of the headstock, you have the one year that can be defined by Martin ukulele as the transition year. And I researched this with Martin. There's also some posts on it as well. And this was the year they put both the sticker and the imprint on the back of the headstock. And it was the, the only year uh, back then in the ukulele they did this, which was in 1932. So not only do we have just a really beautiful instrument that sounds amazing, incredible wood, uh, it's built in, obviously incredibly well uh, as they did back in the day, but we have uh, the year that we can define as well. We have the uh, receipt from 1936 when it was sold, and it's just a really nice vintage package that I'm really blessed to have and add to my collection. So for those of you that are interested in the uh, the Martin ukuleles and are looking at uh, vintage ukuleles, I would definitely recommend to look at the, the Martin vintage ukes. And if you can find one for the right price and you like, like the sound and playability, I would absolutely grab it. 1932 Martin Style 2M. See you on the underground. Bye.